Buenos días, guapo. Does this sound better? Hola. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Did you understand what I said? <laughs> guapo, guapo means cute, cutie. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> but nada. De nada, yeah. Gracias, de nada. See, you know. I know, mi amiga. Gracias, de nada, mi amiga. You also know puta whore, I guess. I've I've learned. <laughs> uh oh, now you're cutting out. Oh. Oh shit, I hope that gets to you. I sent you a new headset. I sent you a new headset like I had told you I would. You didn't have to do that. Well, it's not there yet, so. Well, to be honest, it was a a present that I got for Christmas, and I already had one, and the one that I have is much better, so I don't have any use for it. <laughs> yeah, because it's it's a good one. It's just that the one the one that I have has a volume control on the side while I'm on the phone in my car, and I need it if I need to mute myself, if I need to cough or whatever. But the one I sent you doesn't have a little mute button. So if I need to hawk up oh. some phlegm, everybody on the phone will hear me if I, if I can't <laughs> push mute on there. <laughs> I wouldn't send you a piece of junk. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh shit, where's my stuff? Oh here it is. Alright. <laughs> Poor you. Do you have a chest cold or something? Oh, I have a smoking cold. Oh, <laughs> I know how that feels. <laughs> How many, um, how many people are on my YouTube channel now? I'm just glad it's now. Um, let's see. They're going to be at 60 from before. I'm... And then I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not even on there. I know. Everybody wants to... Everybody discovers, and people discover you every day. It's so funny. I'm surprised you're not getting more fan mail and pictures of nude, beautiful women throwing themselves at you. <laughs> I'm sorry that I didn't lose my mail. <laughs> I can tell you how to marry. See, people love you. All right, let me check. I had to go inside to get a sweater because it actually was starting to get cold. All right, let's see. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I know. Now you're right. All right, let's see here. <laughs> Lauren Armstrong YouTube page. Lauren is sexy. Okay. This is the first comment that pops up. Lauren is sexy. All right. <laughs> Lauren is sexy. All right, so, oh, Jesus Christ, Lauren, you have more subscribers. Oh, really? It says 1,308. You picked up, like, 50 more. What the fuck is going on with that shit? <laughs> oh, shit, I don't know. 
They want you back. What the fuck? They want their Lorny back. He was missing. Now look at his ball sack. <laughs> He's gonna teabag you just <laughs> like D Mac. <laughs> Oh my god, here we go. Oh, Based Shaman is making videos about you again. Oh, really? Yeah. You stay pretty quiet, isn't it? Yeah, the videos he makes about you now, he's getting a lot of hate for because he's being quite nice to you. I don't know. Yeah, he should expect that, I guess. They don't like it when people are nice to you. Oh, shit. Here's another video. Okay. I have a special message for Lauren Armstrong. I decided to make this video because... I made this channel specifically to defend one well, of my favorite YouTubers. Um, unfortunately, my favorite YouTuber no longer makes the videos. And I'm kind of hoping that making this video might make him rethink about making videos and hopefully upload some new content for us. Oh, I plan on moving to America um, for and moving to America soon. She's gonna come. I'm not sure how long I plan on moving to America um, for, but I will be um, going to Massachusetts. Um, I'm not really good with pronouncing things yet. Um, and I reached a card with my photo, um, so they knew what I looked like. They knew I wasn't a creep or anything. Channel name is Lorne Armstrong. I think he is one of the best YouTubers on this platform. I believe he should have a whole lot more subscribers. I think he's hilarious, extremely attractive. There's where all of your fucking subscribers are coming from. This sexy chick in a bikini <laughs> is making a video message to you. She keeps pushing her chichis together. <laughs> Um, I really want to be into older men, and Vaughn is exactly my type. Um, I know he's kind of been talking to someone. Um, I've heard her name be said before. Um, Ramona, I think, is, is that her name? Um, but if Vaughn and Ramona never, you know, get together... I am more than willing to meet up with Lauren um, when I go to America. I'd love to go, even just go to a park and just, you know, him play his guitar. And, oh my God, that would be amazing if he plays. She's guitar. asking you out on a fucking date on YouTube. That's a first. <laughs> yeah, and Lauren, she's fucking beautiful. <laughs> Um, I think she's from Australia, mate. Yes. She was serious. She got her channel taken down because she she got her channel taken down because she drew your face on a masturbation tool and used it and uploaded the video on YouTube and showed her private parts. <laughs> So she she had to create a new channel. Oh. Um, no, she, well, let's see. She has another video on here. My 21st birthday present. And she's opening. Aw, she got a puppy. So she's at a party and there's like little streamers and banners that say 21 and she's taking a little puppy out of a box that had holes in it and loving on it. I think she's really 21. God.
I'm gonna um I'm gonna go pick up my friend. I'm not gonna hang up though. Hold on. Getting your information about um I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Well, I know because I've done this before. You can go online and look at public records. So I know that they were able to get public records about transfers of property between your family members, and they were able to access that legally by the Freedom of Information Act. So they have that. Um, and from you told Ramona, you told Ramona about that on a phone call. Yeah. Well, I never, I thought you were lying to her. I thought you were lying to her because I never heard of Vanessa, Ann Lee, whatever, before. So, you only mentioned her name, though. But the stuff about your family and all of that is public information, and then they went on Facebook, so... Lame. Everybody wants a piece of Lorny. And I don't understand why. I'm just a regular person. No, you're much more than that. You're too humble, I think. Shouldn't I be? a little bit of crap I've done today. Lauren, you don't recognize, you refuse to recognize the fact that you are handsome and funny, and even though you didn't want to be, you were pushed out into the public eye, and people have latched on to you because of that. Because you're fucking cute. We know this world is shallow. You're sexy, okay? <laughs> I'd be funny just because I don't have a good time. I don't want to be a sour person. It's just, that'd be a suck. Imagine nothing to, I don't want to like being a sour person. I know, but. Really, really like in this life, yeah. in this world, in the, these current affairs, everything that's going on, everybody needs a little escape from reality. And you are bigger than life. You don't seem to be real. And to know that you're out there somewhere is just fun to think about for some people, you know? It is funny shit. You're not gonna you're not gonna be able to convince me of otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Well, yeah, because everybody destroyed the evidence. No, yeah. 
Your family should know you well enough to know that you weren't lying. You have never... I mean, they know. They should know. That's fucked up. Yeah. But you've had contact with children in your family and you've never been inappropriate with them. So why would they believe that this is something... I mean, it's obviously not a pattern of yours. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. Oh my god. When all of this comes out, imagine how many subscribers you're going to get then. <laughs> People are going to be all over your dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you're gonna get enough revenue after one after one day full of people watching your videos you're gonna have enough revenue to send yourself on a cruise <laughs> well yeah well after all of this is said and done you'll be You'll be able to go wherever you want, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely will. Yeah, there won't be any probation mm -hmm. this year. They're, they're drop the charges. That's fucked up. Honestly. What if you have, like, I know you have family in Washington. What if one of them passes away and you want to attend their funeral? You still can't? Oh, they would allow me to go to the funeral. Well, I mean, they, oh, they would? Oh, that's good. Yeah. I was going to say, because that's fucked up. Like, a lot of people need that for closure, and they're forcing you into therapy. How much more therapy are you going to need if you miss the funeral of somebody you love so much and you can't say goodbye? They're just, they think they're helping, but they're ruining your life. No, it's fucked up. They're taking me out of therapy. They're kicking you out? Right when you need her most. Yeah. They're trying to isolate you, Lauren. They're trying to take you away from anybody who's on your side. I know. But it's fucked up. I don't understand why you know, they're doing I, this. Uh, Yeah, that's the thing too. You were doing sweet sweepstakes and all of that other stuff so you could earn money and it's legitimate and legal and I think they're just trying to make it to where you can't afford to hire an attorney to represent you, to be honest. Yeah. They know that yeah, you're your YouTube channel. Yeah, that's the thing. You're getting that attention. Yeah, you're getting that attention. Not only that, but your your YouTube is monetized, and the more clicks you get, the more money you can have to have an attorney. Yeah. They're just trying to make it hard for you. Yeah, you have all this evidence. Jesus Christ. 
I hope so. I hope so. They don't... They deserve to be exposed just like they tried to expose you. They need to feel the same heartbreak. <laughs> Yay! And you don't even have to punch somebody in the nose. I know. I want you to, actually. I keep, Ever since you brought up that boxing match, it's all I keep thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't last. None of them has ever lifted a dumbbell in their lives, I think. They've never exercised. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, I'm sorry, you cut out. All I heard was, I heard you say college. Oh, oh, I heard you. <laughs> Your headset makes it so hard to understand you. Yeah, the <laughs> dumbbell. It's so funny. Xavier Von Erk is so fat and out of shape. I wonder how many times he's been confronted in a fight for his behaviors and like he's gotten his ass beat. That's true because you know, you know, just like I know in prison, the one thing they hate, well, maybe child molesters, but even more is a fucking snitch. And that's exactly what Xavier is. Yep. Oh. Imagine how many memes. <laughs> you know what a meme is, right? A meme. <laughs> no, I'm not talking. I'm not talking about a, a mute clown. I'm talking about a meme. A meme is an internet thing where uh, if you do something noteworthy or stupid or silly, they take a picture of you and put words on the picture to make fun of you. So, and then and all of those are passed around. So there, there's going to be one with his name with like pedophile with the words jumbled around and it's going to be all you're doing <laughs> people are going to be fucking sending it to him in his prison mail boss <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have, I have a friend who's, I have a friend who's a hacker who can, he can do stuff from a different IP address. So if you ever want to send somebody a message, yeah, he's a really nice guy. Um, he, I used to work with him. Uh oh, did I lose you? No, no. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh God, that would be funny, and he'll post it. I'll tell him to post it on the Church of Cod Facebook page. He doesn't know it much about 
okay. you or perverted justice or like we don't talk about that kind of stuff um but he so that's even better though because if he's not involved in the community then he doesn't have anything to worry about yeah and I hope they give you your computer back. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. You weren't breaking the law. You had a monitor on there. If anything, you were doing things to better yourself. And that's that was my main complaint before when you and I started talking again for a little bit, was that you you can use it to create a resume to get a better job. Why are they going to stop you from bettering your life? I don't get it. Jeez. He has it out for you. Well, hopefully what he's done is illegal, because if it's illegal, then you can get him for it. NBC has deep pockets. Hopefully they can't... I don't know. I hope not. All of that shit saved somewhere. You know what would be good is to see if they could get that footage of that guy who kept trying to bump you in the nose with the camera, and that's battery. Yeah. Right. I wonder if you can get a statement from him to help you with your next case. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, because if they didn't tell him, they need to know who's involved when they make an arrest. So somebody was keeping information from him too. Yeah, and that's fucked up. See. Jesus. Well, he's going to be Greg Dumbolt soon. Uh huh. Jeez. Yeah. Well, your page is still up there, and your picture and everything, and I don't know. I just don't understand. Like why they had to take it so far.
That would be great. Good. Yeah, that's just, that's ridiculous that they're still able, they still have that old website up. It hasn't been updated in like eight years. And it's still up for anybody to search. What if you meet a really nice girl and she goes on there and sees the stuff that they made up about you in the chat log? You're not going to be, you're not going to be able to convince her otherwise because she doesn't know who you really are inside. Yeah, so that's even more of a case that it's unjust, that it's part of your treatment plan to get into a relationship, a sexual relationship with somebody because all of the cards are stacked against you. Take, the, take you off the registry and then we'll talk. That's just horrible. Yeah. As soon as I saw it, I knew you needed to have it, but I didn't know if you would believe me, so I never sent it to you. And then when we started talking again and I told you about it and you were interested, it all started to come together like, maybe Lauren isn't trying to troll me into coming to Maine so I can get arrested. <laughs> I thought you were being nice to me so I could go to Maine because they won't extradite somebody from California to Maine for such a small offense, but it's an arrestable offense and if I'm in Maine, they could arrest me for it. So my attorney kept telling me, he's trying to get you over there to get arrested, don't trust him. And I'm like, it doesn't matter, like, if I get arrested for something I did wrong, I fucking did it, so, <laughs> you know. I don't try to get people in trouble unless they really deserve it. And they seem to be a lot of they deserve it. Well, yeah, they ruined your entire life. I mean, it's one thing to do a show like before. There were no police involved in the first few episodes. They had the guys show up, they embarrassed them, they let them go home. All right, well, if they had done that to you, then it wouldn't be such a huge deal. It would suck, but every, everybody would have forgotten about it by now. Oh, hold on, that's... Hey, you clicked over and hung up on me. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, you know, I'll always be here waiting for you. Wherever you are, whatever you do, Emily will be right here waiting for you. <laughs> I love talking to you again. I don't know. I just think we, we both have like silly senses of humor and we're both smart and kind of dumb in our own ways. I just think it's so fun. <laughs> to talk to you on the phone and be yeah, silly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We know how to have fun. You took my hangover right away. Good. You that fucking thing anyway. That's right. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, shit. So what are you, yeah, you, you going to do with the rest of your day? Oh, are you remodeling? Nice. Yeah, one person come up and 
Yeah. Oh, he Mickey Mouse it together. Yeah, I don't know how much stuff is wrong in the You should take a video of yourself doing that. Yeah. That would be great to see you in just jeans and a tool belt doing some work. Oh my gosh. I know, but just wear it without a shirt. We all want to see you. <laughs> Well, is he just being lazy or is he being greedy? Is he just being lazy or is he being greedy? I thought you said there was somebody who's been going over or you want to go over to help you. Or did I, I mishear you? Oh, okay. Oh, he's sweet. So is he one of the people, he's one of your siblings that cares about you? Like he knows that you never even meant to do it and you didn't, like you didn't mean to, yeah, that's good. At least you have somebody on your side over there. It must suck to have people believe that you're that person. Well, a lot of people want to rock your world, but in a very different way. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so lame. I hope it's life changing. You well, I'm sorry, somebody took something off your shelf? Huh? What'd you say about your shelf? I said you you wrong, but I said mom was beside herself. Oh. So you want to let stuff that No, you didn't let her see it, did you? Some of it. I I read some of it. Oh, you didn't show her the pictures, I hope. I read me. No. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, that's good. That's what she needs to hear. I just don't want her to know about the other stuff. She doesn't need to know about that. Oh, okay. I hope Lori closed her Facebook to be private instead of public. I think she did because I called her and told her. Good. Yeah, nobody's being fair to you. Oh. 
All right. Let's see. Man, that must have pissed you off. I would have been so mad. And your sister's really pretty, by the way. I really like her dimples. You didn't get dimples. Why not? I don't know. You're still cute. You don't need them. God was like, no. God was like, you know what? This man is just, he's going to be so handsome. If we give him dimples, nobody will be able to handle it. <laughs> Lauren, I'm not kidding. I hope you know I'm not kidding. I know I'm flirting with you, but you know that you know you're a good looking man, right? I know you don't. But you are. People must flirt with you all the time. <laughs> you're so full of it. Your beautiful blue eyes. Even when you have a shirt on, you can tell you're fucking ripped. You have the butt of a god. I mean, what? What's wrong with these people? <laughs> the butt of a cod. <laughs> the codly buttocks. <laughs> see, see how you are. You make me laugh. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Well, you're a funny guy. <laughs> Thank you. See, women can be kind of funny. I think it, it was funniest when I showed my chichis to that pedophile and he died. <laughs> my titties literally killed somebody, Lauren. <laughs> I didn't even have to smother him. <laughs> right? Oh, and then when it, when we hung up, he told somebody else, they were nasty. She's ugly. I was like, aw. A pedophile doesn't like me. Aw. <laughs> right. I'm glad he's dead too, that bastard. That's fucked. You know what? I still can't get over it. So they're going to take away your therapist. They're going to they're going to throw you in a class with all new people and you have to open up to them and get I think that's just a way to like to hurt you, I think. They're going to take away everybody who supports you and expose to what? Yeah, they are. They can't take away your They're taking away your only one-on-one -on -one support. And dropping you in another class full of full of a bunch of real perverts. That's fucked up. God, I'm so fucking horny. That's fucked up. And, and those people are dangerous, too. I'm sure they have other convictions besides sex convictions, and they're putting you in there with them. I know you wouldn't hurt a, a fly. You'd hurt a deer, but only on purpose. And these people could possibly be like murderers and shit. That's what I said. It was an accident. <laughs> Poor thing. It's okay. And then you couldn't even eat it. I said, and then you couldn't even eat it. I said you couldn't even eat it. Uh oh. I said you couldn't even eat it. 
You know what, though? Yeah. Oh, my God. But I, I got to tell you, though, if somebody told me, hey, Lauren will eat you if you just let him hit you with his van, I'd be the first one in front of the grill. <laughs> 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 I volunteer. It's all shaved and ready, Lauren. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> uh, all right, handsome. I just pulled up. <laughs> yeah. I any way I can get it from my Lauren. Hey, I, I just got to my mom's house. I'm going to take her shopping, so I'm going to hang up with you and let you do your restroom. But I'll be back tonight if you want to chat a little bit. Yeah, no problem. I'll, I'll be here either way, and I'll be here tomorrow. I hate to hang up with you, but I got to. Yeah, you do what you got to do, girl. All right, hot stuff. I'll see you soon. Okay. All right, kisses. Have fun on your mom. All right, honey. Bye. Bye.